Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. It's Carol here, and I'm back with another What I Eat in a Day video. And this is where I show you how easy it is to eat a whole food plant-based diet, even on a busy schedule. Well, this morning I got up and went to CrossFit. I had a great workout. We did rowing for 20 minutes straight. It was a lot of cardio, but it felt really good. I was feeling strong. And then after that, I've been having some problems with my car. I've been having nonstop car issues between my car and my son's car since the beginning of the year. And my car has died three times in the last week. We went out to a Thai restaurant last night for my mom's birthday and we came out of the restaurant. My car wouldn't start. It's just completely dead. No lights coming on, no, no clicking, no tick, 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 nothing. It just was completely dead. And this has happened three times. So, so I get a jump. I have jumper cables. I get a jump. It starts right up with a jump. And then it starts most of the time, like 80% of the time it starts, but then every once in a while it won't. So I think it might be my battery. I bought this battery in 2020. So I think that a battery only lasts maybe three to five years at the most. And things like extreme heat can affect your battery's life. It can make the water level in the battery go down. And my car sits in my driveway 24 seven and it is extremely hot out there. So I think that may have something to do with it. I'm hoping that it's just my battery. My car is getting a little older. It still has um, sort of low miles. It has 75,000 miles on it. It's a 2014. I really love my car, but it's gonna start having some issues. It needs front tires. It needs an oil change. It needs um, the new exhaust system that the previous people that worked on my car never put on my car. So I need to get that fixed still. And my friend was encouraging me to go take a look at new cars. And so after CrossFit today, she took me to the dealership to look at some new cars. And there is a car that I was looking at that is a hybrid. It's a Ford Maverick and I, it gets really good reviews. We know a couple of people that own them and it's like a small pickup truck. Um, it's not exactly the kind of car I want. I don't really need a truck bed for any reason. It's not, it wouldn't be my ideal car, but the, the electric charge lasts 500 miles. So it's really good, efficient on gas. It would be a practical vehicle for me to purchase right now, but I really don't want to spend that kind of money on a new car right now. And I really like my old car. I'd, I'd rather drive my old car. So we, anyway, we went and test drove a Maverick. They have one that's already sold. They have another one on the coming on the boat. It'll be here on Thursday. And it's just not what I'm looking for. I just really wouldn't feel super excited to drive a new car off the lot if it's not really what I want. I realized that if I bought it at the price that they're selling it for, I could probably turn around and sell it for more the next day. But I don't even feel like um, dealing with that right now. I think I have decided to put a little money into my car and hold on to it for now. So it's nice to make that decision. I can't, it kind of a load off my mind and I know the appointments I need to make to get my car up and running, you know, to maintain my car properly and get it up and running so that it lasts me a long time. So that's where we're at. My son has pulled a groin muscle. He runs in track and field and he pulled a groin muscle three weeks ago. So he has missed a lot of the season and the championship race is this Friday. So he knows that his times aren't gonna be where they should be, but he really still wants to run. So I'm taking him to see a kinesiologist today to take a look at that pulled groin and see if we can get him up and running by Friday. But it's two o'clock already. I have not eaten today. I have just been snacking out. I had a whole cucumber and a couple of stalks of celery. And I that has really actually filled me up quite a bit, but I know I need to eat more. I air fried this block of tofu and I just put some garlic salt on it and put it in the air fryer. So quick and easy. I've got some butter lettuce leaves here. I'm just gonna make some little tofu wraps. I have, I'm gonna use two leaves. I'm gonna use two leaves. I've got some green onions and some sliced beets. I know this is kind of a weird combo, but this is what I had. And some air fried tofu in there. I can get them there. I also have some of these sweet pickles. These are so good. I'm just loving these. And then I've got my, my potato ranch. Okay, mm. so I'm gonna have a couple of lettuce wraps and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Mm, 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 mm. 
Okay, so it is seven o'clock, just got home from taking my son to that kinesiologist that I saw for my shoulder. I took my son to get his groin muscles looked at and it was really good. I, he, the, I think that he's gonna be okay to run on Thursday and Friday in the championship. He's feeling much better. He's just icing it now. So that was good. And then sure enough, when we came out of the office, my car wouldn't start. There is a off-road center right next door to the office there. And I walked over there and I said, can, it, can someone give me a jump? And I talked to the shop guy there and he said, yeah. And I, I explained to him what's been going on. He said, you need a new battery? And I said, yeah, I think I need a new battery. And he was like, well, do you want a price for a new battery? And I was like, oh, you guys have batteries? Sure. So he happened to have the right size battery for my car. And so I bought him a new battery. And I was, I didn't even hesitate. I don't know if that was a good price or not. It was, you know, $320. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but I was like, you know what? It's worth it to me. I'm here. He, he walked over and installed it for me. I was right in the parking lot next door there and started it right up and it started up instantly. Lots of power. So I'm glad that I got that done. I'm just going to get the other couple things done to my car. I'm glad I have some clarity on what I want to do with my vehicle. You know, it's kind of hard not having other people to bounce this these things off of. I just kind of feel like alone with all these decisions. But anyway, thank you for listening about my car troubles. And now I don't have to get jumps anymore. So I'm, I'm happy I got a battery today and my son got his leg looked at. And so we are, it was a productive day. It's 7 p.m. It's late. I not feeling inspired to cook anything whatsoever. I don't know what I'm gonna make the boys. Maybe I'll make them some rice and chili. They're gonna work out now, so I'm, but I'm gonna eat now. And I'm gonna have the same thing I had for lunch. How boring is that? But it just, it was so good and so fresh and delicious. I just put a nori sheet here. I put some butter lettuce. Let's do it this way with the fluffy part of the inside. Some green onions. And I have these packets of roasted beets that I get at Costco. And I'm just putting a bunch of beets in there. They're just so good. They taste good on everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of the air fried tofu left over. This is not the most exciting day of eating, you guys, but this is real life. And I just love this. And these sweet pickles, these are so good. They just make it. Mm -mm. Okay. The last of my potato ranch here. What do you think of that? <laughs> I don't know if I can even close it. It's so big. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna have a few of these. And that's gonna be it for me today. It was a good day, it was a productive day. Yeah. And I'll try to be more creative on what I eat tomorrow. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'm gonna sit down and have a few of these and then make a cup of tea and go read. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night.